Hello Techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to convert a list into a text value by using join text test action. By using join text test action, we can convert a list of values into a text value by separating items with a specified delimiter. All right, let me start with a simple example. Over here, if you see on my screen, I'm having a employee list which has been created by using create new list. And after that, into that employee list, I have added the items or the employee names like Satyam, Sundari, Bills and Marks by adding add items to the list. Now, what I have to do, I have to convert all the items which are there in the list to a text value. How can I go ahead and do that? By using join test, test action, I can convert them into a text value. All right, let me drag and drop this join text onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters over here, specify the list to join. What will happen over here? What are the employees or what are the items do we have in the list? It will join all the list of the items over there by using the specify the list to join. Over here, what I will select, I will select employee list over here. And then if you see the other parameter delimited to separate list of items. So whenever I'm going to join the list of items, so for one item to another item, if there is any delimiter is required or not. If you see over here, I'm having three options over here. One is none, another one standard, another one is custom. None is nothing but I'm not going to use any delimiter for one item to another item while I am going to joining or else when I'm going to select the standard, I'm having different options again over here, standard delimiter. I'm having space, tab, new line. So over here, for what are the item that we have whenever we are going to join for one item to another item, I will use space over here. All right, or else I can use tab or new line. But if you see over here, the times, number of times that you want to use the delimiter over here. By default, we are having one, if I want to use two also, three also, any number of things that we can use over here. So this times is nothing but numeric value will specify over here that specify how many times to use the specified delimiter. All right. Now, if you see what I will do, I will give the space over here for the time being. And then the output, what are the after joining the list of items, the output will be stored in the joined text. So that is the flow variable would be generated after clicking on save. All right, let me click on save. Now to see the output, I will use display message. Let me drag and drop onto the workspace. Now the title, I will give it as join text. And after that message to display, I will select the output after joining the text, right? We, we got joined text flow variable. Let me select that and then click on save. Now, if you observe, I have given the space as delimiter right and after that number of times i have used for two times all right let me click on run to see the output flow execution started and you can see on the right hand side employee list i'm having satyam sundari bills and marks right now whenever i'm going to get an output you can see satyam and after that for one item to another item or one employee to another employee i'm having space as a delimiter so number of times i have repeated as two times so that you will get two as a space and you can see for each and every item I'm having two space over there right that is space characters that we can say all right let's click on okay now what I will do I will make some more changes over here like custom delimiter okay the delimiter to separate the list of items I'm going to select custom and then you can see I'm going to provide comma over here let us assume I want to put two times comma for one item to another item I have given two times the comma separated. Okay, let me click on save. Let's run the flow. Now, if you see the output for one item to another item, I'm having the delimiter that is two times that I've given as comma so that for one item to another item, the separators are there, right? Comma separators, two times it has been used over there. All right, let me click on okay. Now let us assume if you see over here, I'm having space, I have to give a standard delimiter. At that time, what I will do, I will use custom separator itself. And then I will use, first I will use comma 
and then I will use space. These are the both the things I can use, like standard delimiters as well as the custom delimiters I can use whenever you want to use custom delimiter. All right. Now, if you see, I'm going to use some more greater than symbol. I have used three delimiters over here. One is comma, another one is space, another one is the greater than value. All right. Now, let me click on save. Let's run the flow. If you see the output, now what happened? We got the, I, for each and every item has been joined by using join test. And after that, in the output for one item to another item, I can see the comma separated and the space separated and the delimiter we are having greater than also. All right, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to convert a list of items into the text value by using join text test action. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.